have had pools in the past and weren't always terribly satisfied with the service that we had received. And um, so we thought uh, it's something we could, we have to be able to do better than this. We've noticed there's bad, bad service in the industry with the pools that we've had and built. Um, and so we thought we can bring a lot to the industry in our area. I was looking for a, a successful uh, business to go into that would have a, uh, a desired need to be filled with a with a profitable and business-minded way to fill that. And so then the industry in my hometown, there was certainly a need for uh, a more professional customer service centric full service company. Uh, and to me, this just seemed like the, the, the perfect equation, find a need and fill it. I, I've always been interested in pools. Uh, I like working outdoors. I like working with my hands. And I think that uh, where I'm living now in Naples is a great place to pursue that type of uh, Type of business. I've been around pools all my life. As a kid, I, you couldn't keep me out of the pools. I was a lifeguard way back in the day and I was on swim team. That's all, that's the only place I wanted to be. Back when I graduated high school, I immediately went to work uh, building swimming pools. And I worked in the swimming pool business for most of my adult life. And I wanted to go into the service side of it because I believe it's more recession-proof than the construction side of it. I wanted what I think of as a partner, uh, someone that can help me with marketing, someone that can help me with uh, technical problems and situations like that. ASP for me was a uh, an offer to join a partner with a venture that he was going to uh, initiate and he felt passionate about it but it was not sold to me to where it wasn't a decision on my part it was we have this venture we're gonna we're gonna do we're looking for a managing partner uh, here is the company you do your due diligence you do your research you do your market analysis here's why we are excited about the company and get back to us and within about a month of doing that research and that due diligence and the market analysis showing that there was such a, a delta in my, my hometown of quality pool service and the number of pool owners that were looking for that service that to me it was the perfect business equation, find a need and fill it. The backing of a bigger corporation, better pricing, uh, help if I needed on it, certain things. We decided to call a few of the franchisees um, in some um, other states and we heard nothing but rave, rave reviews about the business, about this franchise, franchise in particular. I came and I owned a company that was in the service industry. Um, that's exactly what ASP was and I thought it was a good fit. Well, I thought the training was excellent. Uh, I thought that they actually took time to really care about what their franchisees and, how, and their performance and uh, I think that um, I feel really good that I've got a company that's going to back me when I'm out there in the field. I really like the service aspect where you can go over in the new warehouse and put your hands on things and they could create different opportunities for you to work on. I'm mean, getting out into the field into real customers backyards to do the uh, maintenance part was good and even maybe more so is the business training that you get the quickbooks the things that i didn't get with the other franchise opportunities very supportive very concerned uh, wanting to uh, make sure that we succeed and um, I, I think that it's a, it was a great experience i got a whole big different outlook on the ways to do things from my construction background in pool and that's what I like uh, most about it, just a different way to do things. I actually felt like the, um, just the uh, service part, um, which was for me the most frustrating and difficult part, was also my favorite because uh, I had no idea how to do any of that stuff. And, and I, I, you know, that's probably where I learned the most. The very, very well prepared. I feel for one that it's been a great, great uh, two weeks of training. I have zero industry experience. I have a pool that I'm sure I've been incorrectly incorrectly balancing the entire time, but this company's gone to great lengths to make sure that we're prepared for that, that day when the clock does go off, and they're always a phone call away, and the coaches and mentors are here, 
and it's expected that we're going to call and been through some pool renovations, replasterings, things like that. So nothing hands on, nothing hands on, just just a. Uh, 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 basic knowledge of, of the operations. I don't have pool school experience, but uh, I think pool school gave me an excellent knowledge of several different factors that's related to the pool industry. And I know with the support that I have from ASP, I can only get better. Just uh, maintaining our own pool, uh, pools that we had. So I knew, you know, um, about that the water needed to be, be balanced and things like that. but. Just preparing for pool school and just educated myself anyway, and, and I know Candace as well on uh, you know, the importance of why the water needs to be balanced instead of just, well, that's going to make it clear, you know, that it, there's just so much more to it than just taking your water and getting it tested. I actually did have the prior pool experience. Um, at this pool school, I learned a lot about the vinyl liner type pools uh, that I had no knowledge of prior to this. I was also interested in not only learning about the pool side, but the, the little, the, some of the electrical uh, that I've learned, and um, so that was exciting. And as far as how electrical plays such a key part in how everything uh, works, um, in addition to the filtration, which is you know when you think of pools and it looking nice and staying clean, you think of chemicals immediately, but you don't realize how much filtration is a part of that. So. Just the, the fascinating part of how everything has to work together and if something's not working it, it can cause something else to be off and so how, how it all has to work together to produce the great results of a beautiful pool. I would have never gone into the pool service industry alone. It's the franchise and the existing company, company and infrastructure that has uh, been so uh, exciting for me and it's not the service it's the company and the business acumen and business model provided and the fact that all their franchisees are are still up and running and there are a majority of them that are profitable and within short order they're they're very profitable so that model works and it really boils down to how much energy you have and, and how much dedication and attention to detail and I think the sky's the limit for any franchisee owner you don't feel like you're out there making mistakes on your own. You have the help. You have the, um, the national brand recognition. I think it's the support. That's, that's what's key. Uh, I could have definitely gone out on my own, but uh, I wanted uh, a good business practice. I wanted a good business model to follow. So that's exactly why I chose to work with ASP. You know, once again, this is not your average pool company. And the training facility in the campus here is just a very... Uh, visual way to see that. You, you, you feel that the minute you, you get on campus with whether it's the indoor classroom facility or whether it's the outdoor training facility. They hold you accountable. I know we're gonna make sure that you're doing things that you need to get out, you know, to be successful, get the ground running and to stay running. I can tell you that uh, franchise opportunities are great uh, to give you a good start, to kick you off and um, just the a ratio of the people that are, succeed in a franchise opportunity is that much higher than that of people that do it on their own. I love the market, the marketing um, by the franchise. It feels like you have a start out of the gate ahead of someone who's doing it on their own. I feel blessed to have been afforded this opportunity. I do feel confident that this is a company still uh, in the springtime. It's a budding company, and, and that I've been afforded the opportunity to get into what I would say would be a ground floor.